Hello, today I'm going to be testing uh, Rogers Internet Security for in uh, Ontario, Canada. Um, this is the standard Rogers installation client that I'm actually opening up right now. And uh, I'm just going to install the default setup. This is uh, April 8th, 2010, um, 6.45. And I am just going to test it and see, uh, see what we can find. And uh, I'll be right back once it completes. So I just want to show you it's Rogers Online Protection and it's uh, 81 megabytes to download. So I'll be right back. Alright, so we've just finished the install, um, and um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say next, install, and uh, this is now just installing the product for me, so uh, I guess I'll be right back. Alright, so we've just finished the installation. I suspect it's going to ask me to reboot. Apparently not, so that's good. Let's run that. Alright, so let's see what this program looks like. I'm also going to be putting it up against Norton Internet Security 2010, fully up to date and ready to go. I am going to bypass the uh, the uh, scan, the scans. These are all the s these are the exact same uh, um, machine they don't have any viruses in it they're brand new fresh all the same windows updates the exact same java updates the same instances of everything um that was just telling me because i hit run and it opened it a second time on me here um which makes me makes me want to close that but um i'm gonna have to activate that i'll do that after this is done i close that but uh, anyway I'll be right back once this finishes updating. Alright, so I've just finished checking for updates and they're all completely up to date. Um, so yeah, it has an antivirus firewall and anti-spyware program built into it. The antivirus is uh, enabled and online. Um, again, all default settings, I haven't changed anything. Um, so everything should be exactly as it is. Um, no big difference between them. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start by uh yeah, start by uh doing uh some some scans with it. I'm going to open up Norton as well and uh, do the same tests with it with uh, zero day viruses, viruses that have come out within the past day. Um and uh after that, uh, after the infection, I am going to run a malware bite scan on it. All right. So apparently, access is granted to the internet. Um, one thing I want to take a look at is uh, its footprint. It definitely seems like it slows down the computer a little bit. Um, I'm going to look at what it's using for tasks. So looking at that one there, 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 that one there. Hmm. I wonder if it's actually scanning. Doesn't really tell me anything unfortunately. It's not that descriptive. Um I don't see anywhere that it would say that um any definitions. Okay. Uh, it's not apparently scanning. I don't suspect it would have told me if it were scanning. So, uh, I mean, just looking at this, I mean, look at this. Um, everything from here down to here is all Rogers Yahoo. Um, so, I mean, you're looking at 9 plus 22, so that's 31. Uh, 35 plus 42, that's like... I don't know, 80, I, 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 I'm I not even about to scan, start trying to count this up, but you, you're easily looking over 120, 150 megabytes um, easily of uh, of space, or of RAM that it's eaten up. 
It's absolutely gobbling it. So, uh, Rogers Yahoo is definitely going to slow down your computer. It's not going to be very generous with the, uh, with the, with your RAM at all. So, uh, let's see how it does. Hopefully a lot better against, uh, viruses that exist out there. So I'm just going to copy them and I'm going to try running them if they ask me to. So that's a dead link. Let's try this one. And this one here. So far, nothing. I'm going to try another one. This one here is going to happen, so let's run that. Virus has been found. Click here for more information. All right, so it really didn't s do anything. So I'm going to run a scan at the end of all these. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with Norton. I'm going to run the same virus. See what it does. Norton thinks it's safe. Very interesting. It's not. It's actually a virus. It is what kind of virus is it? It's a Zeus. So this is a uh, Facebook stealing worm. Very interesting. So um, gives me a warning there. That's interesting. So it is telling me that some part of that is not safe. But uh, it hasn't asked me anything. Oh, here it is. All right. Program is sus uh, behaving suspiciously. So it found out what it was doing, and it's suggesting that I remove it. So I'm going to remove it, and I'm going to go on to the next one, which will be this one here, Snoopy, whatever that is. Try running that. This is the uh, Rogers Yahoo online protection right now that I'm testing and has been detected. Again, start a scan. I'm going to do it at the end. So I'm going to do the same thing in Norton. I'm going to restart it at the end of the scan. Run that. See what that finds. Okay, so Norton stopped it. I'm going to go over to the next one, which is this one here. Copy that test it with the Roger Yahoo. It's a dead link. Try this one here. And this one's going to run. Run that. Oh, that one actually got through. Okay, so let's try the same one with Norton. Run that. Norton needs attention. View details. Close that. I'm going to say uh, we recommend not using this file, so I'm going to remove it. And go to the next one. So Norton stopped that one. I'm going to go on to this one. See if this one goes through. And that one seems to be a dead link. Go on to this one. That one's a dead link. Remember, dead links are good. That means that people are removing these viruses off the internet. Try this one. Seems to be a dead link as well. Try this one. That one's a dead link. Try this one. And this one's a good one. So let's run that one. Wait to see what Roger Yahoo does. Um, it didn't actually say anything. Um, well, what's happened here? Alright, uh, I'm going to try blocking this, okay, uh, was blocked from accessing the internet, but I believe the damage is already done. 
the antivirus already installed. This is going to be the last one I'm going to test.